Hi everyone, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. It's um, Wednesday morning, yeah, it's Wednesday morning here and today in this video um, I will show you and do some um, swatching, um, showing you how to use Neo Colors, what type of, um, you know, strategies, um, methods you can use to use them, what kind of paper, um, how to approach Neo Color 2s. And before I start, I just want to emphasize and thank uh, the beautiful Melody again. Thank you so, so much. I know it's starting to get boring, <laughs> but I'm still stunned and I'm still speechless of this beautiful gift so thank you very much beautiful melody and this was a gift of her from her and so let's get started you see the 84 neo color 2 water soluble box in front of me and you and as you know or now you will know neo color 2s um, have 126 colors but this is the usual box um, you can buy, um, the largest set I know of. There are still some of the 126 boxes on eBay, for example, if you are interested in them. <coughs> um, I was lucky enough to have open stock in Hungary, so I bought myself 20 more Neo color 2 so right now I have 104 colors and this will be one of my goals today to swatch all of the 104 colors showing you the additional colors I also um, accumulated the sets the special sets such as the autumn one the bright the Mm, spring one and I also made a skin tone palette so we will swatch them as well so you can see um, how they look like what colors they include if you considering if you are considering buying them um, and yeah so let's get started um, as you know neo color twos are water soluble wax pastels um, and they differ from the Neo Color 1s. Neo Color 1s aren't water soluble, Neo Color 2s are water soluble, so please keep that in mind when you are considering buying them. And um, they are really, really high quality from Karen Dash. And let's see the colors. <clears throat> they are absolutely stunning. This is, you get a little paper with your box and these are the beautiful colors, oh my god. So, I already uh, changed the order of the colors, inserting the plus 20 colors I bought. So. This is not the color palette you get when you buy the 84. There are several videos out there, so please check if you're interested how the 84 box looks like. And um, yeah, they can be used dry and wet as well. They have exceptional covering, covering power and excellent light fastness. They are like watercolor in a crayon and it's pretty amazing. And the sister, so to speak, of Neo Color 2s are the so called Supra Color 2s, which I adore. Just showing you how they look like. They are um, water soluble pencils and they come in 150 colors. And many of you asked what at the point of buying super colors when you can buy neo colors well um, they can be used dry and wet 
as well the pencils and of course they have more colors but another really really good point is that's all that you can also get a good variety of skin colors with the Supra Color 2s, here you can see them, with the limited edition palette, the 30 anniversary set. And as you know, I love skin, so that was a huge go-to for me. And while you can go in with tiny little areas with your pencils, you wouldn't be able to do that with a dry um, Neo Color 2. Although you could use your tiny and thin brush to go into tiny areas so just saying I like to combine the Neo Color 2s and the Supras and what's more they have um, exactly the same colors I mean um, yeah they have although you know they have more the Supras so I will show you um, some expensive expensive sorry some examples later just had my coffee <laughs> so yeah um, mm -hmm. yeah so just saying so you know everything I'm trying to try tell you everything I know so yeah mm, they can be used to cover large blank areas for example um, backgrounds as you can see they are quite heavy and there's a lot of, lots of lots of lots of pigment in this this will be enough forever <laughs> so that's great so you really get quality and amount for your money and you can use them on the top um, if you want to go, for example, straight onto the paper and you can use the back to get color onto your brush or water brush, whatever you prefer to use. We will talk about them later as well. So covering large areas like this, I brought you some examples in summer nights coloring book for example i colored this background with um, neo colors um, you can see it but maybe here you can see it these are three colors blended together i used uh, super color solely for the background so that's a great um, method or tool for this then um, yeah you can use it as a base on your page before pencil work as well to make watercolor landscapes as well so the variety of usage is really really large and limitless yeah so you can use them of course in coloring books with special watercolor paper such as I brought you some examples a defined color coloring book from Gugeli is a beautiful book with excellent paper watercolor paper this is my finished not finished sorry whip page I used ink tent for the background and went over it with acrylics and as you can see the other side is still intact no bleeding through so this could be beautiful beautiful book to play with your neos or watercolors I just finished the page in this little beauty and we'll be working in forest girl Forest Girl 2 today, the premium edition with watercolor paper. And it has test page. Yes. So you can play and you get to know this paper. Yeah. So I use the super colors here, but today I will play with the leaves and we will compare uh, super colors with neo colors 
if there's time even in tense. So still a test page for you and then the party gets started. <laughs> and here is the page I just finished with Supras. Um, and I did the whole page with a brush, a regular water brush. And you can see how I did it on my channel, <coughs> and on my live streams, well, partly, not the whole page. So this is also an excellent book to practice and to play in. I used a Bristol Wellum 250 gram paper. I, I'm um, coloring a page um, with Neo Color Tools right now, but sorry, I can show you. It will be a gift and a surprise, so, but it will be posted on my IG as soon as the gift is, the gift arrived, so. And I had no problems um, with the Neo Color Tools on this paper. Of course, use water with, you know, use your <laughs> use your judgment and yeah to the limit of water or to the what amount of water you use um, yeah but always sorry I'm speaking a lot today <laughs> always test um, your coloring page um, if you're not certain about, for example, if you're trying to color in a new book or with a new media in your coloring book, always try them out, um, you know, just to go for sure, just a suggestion. So yeah, okay, we will be, we'll be going to the swatching, I promise, soon. Um, yeah, what to use the Neo colors with? You can use um, a regular water brush. I find that with a regular water brush, it's easier to control the amount of water you are using with Neo Color Tools. Although it's really great that I don't have to hurry, as I would with the ink tents, as those are. Um, pen inks in a pencil and they dry really really fast and you know you can move the color once they are dry you can layer over them but you can't move the actual pigment so this is Dervant water brush uh, sorry aqua brush so water is inside your brush and you can see already the water is already in the tip it's great for working fast as you would for example with the ink tents so I prefer using them for ink tents and now let's get started with the swatching Woohoo! <clears throat> I came prepared. I will start with swatching all of the colors, then we will go on and um, why is this so dark? Mm -hmm. And show you the palettes, okay? Um, yeah, I will try to zoom you in as much as possible. Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm. Now we are talking. And hey. Mm hmm. Great. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, what I do is I just drag color to the paper. This is pale yellow. lemon yellow and I, I will activate all the colors later after every color is put down canary yellow yellow golden yellow I don't know how you think but I love watching swatches oh, 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 I have to be careful with the lines mm, stupid paper sorry Um, for <coughs> of course um, you can mm, mix the colors on a tray plastic palette um, I'm using a glass a sheet of glass or a, yeah a surface a glass surface for um, you know um, dragging down uh, color especially when I'm using a regular water brush with the Neo Color 2's it's easy to um, hmm. clean it Crimson Alizarin so Flame Red Vermilion what is it? Light Cadmium Red, Scarlet, Crimson Aubergine, Purple Violet. Oh, sorry, pigeons arrived. <laughs> so this was an, oh yeah, I wanted to show you the additional colors, yeah ultramarine pink this is not in the 84 set manganese violet isn't in the 84 as well purple well for me this is fuchsia not purple but you know you never know <coughs> pink salmon pink Salmon, so as you hear, I'm near wildlife, <laughs> just joking. Apricot, flash. Um, I'm sure that you can see how vibrant the colors are, 
and they will be even more vibrant when water is added orange orangish yellow sorry here it is Sahara yellow I love this color a soft vanilla yellow I love it oh my god so beautiful Bordeaux red this is an extra <coughs> additional color uh, I bought open stock wine red hmm. love it carmine Indian red oh. Ruby red uh, Indian red was also an additional color by the way um, periwinkle blue cobalt violet additional color mauve Lilac Aubergine My little dog is here as well trying to catch the pigeons so if you hear grumpy noises that's my dog being annoyed not being able to catch them from out of the window violet royal blue oh, look at those colors oh my god prussian blue so how has your been how has your week been so far we are approaching the middle of the week so that's great ultramarine uh, blue Oop. Uh, night blue Tecla Sorry, my dog. Sapphire blue. Ice blue, additional color. I love this color so much. Look at this. Mm. So, um, on Monday, we had a really, really, really scary storm. Um, some scientists say that we had a kind of um, mini hurricane and tolo blue. I was at home and I live on the eighth floor so I could see everything <laughs> and um, indigo blue trees were teared out um, you know those huge billboards flew off in the city center it was really really scary sky blue um, 
and yeah there were several accidents um, a tree fell on someone so I never experienced um, such a um, force storm blue jeans this is a beautiful color oh my god this is a really special color I love it so as I said I never um, so something like that and you know with only I mm, it was at I don't know 30 minutes 20 minutes light blue but it felt like um, an eternity and it was really bad because light cobalt blue is the next one um, nobody was prepared or yeah Nobody was told that we will have such a force storm and turquoise blue and the traffic stopped because of all the trees and debris and yeah mm, parts like chairs flying everywhere you know from cafes even the roof turquoise green the roof of the theater um, was teared off oh my god so we watched videos yesterday about the damage cobalt blue and um, did I told have I told you that a, f uh, a tree fell on someone oh my god so he is in hospital. I really hope that he will get better soon. Malahit Green. And if there were some um, people working on a crane and the storm was so bad, first they weren't warned. Um, green is blue. They were notified and they had to stay on the crane while the storm was um, really forced and it went with 140 km per hour or something like that and chromium oxide green um, and uh, workers on the crane made a video how it was like um, being jade green sorry inside of the crane while the storm was going and oh my god it was so scary we watched it oh my god jade green veronese green But they survived, nothing happened, thank God. Bluish green, this is an additional color. So what? Uh, yeah, emerald, yeah. Hmm. These two colors are quite similar. The bluish green is more blue. This is more green. That's the difference. The beautiful um, mermaid color, by the way. Um, tall green. Can't pronounce the rest of it, so I will call it tall green. Um, dark green. dark English green this is an additional color this is a great color for coloring pines or Christmas trees for example uh, yellow green spring green so the firefighters are really busy right now. Bismuth 
green, this is an additional color. Bright green. Grass green. Light green. Lime green. Chinese green, greenish yellow. Light olive. Moss green. Olive. Sorry, um, there is a car outside. Olive black. I think they are cleaning the street, talking about the devil, <laughs> speaking of the devil, right? Olive black. This is an additional color. It's an autumn color as well, olive black. Then um, olive brown, love this one, A green ochre, great color for gold, love it, oh, so bright, so beautiful, ochre, golden ochre the green ochre was an additional color by the way no sorry this is green ochre this is golden yeah golden ochre then light ochre rose sienna Cinnamon, chestnut, additional color, Venetian red. What is happening? English red? Sorry, I will have to close the window. Saffron? Can't believe it. Saffron? Um, Russet, burnt sienna, it sounded like a plane <laughs> ascending, right? <laughs> burnt sienna, great skin color, brown. Toledo brown, Toledo, Toledo, Toledo. <sighs> Love them. Van Dyke brown. Row umber.
5 Coco um, it's the number 405 I saw it written like um, Dunkel beige which is like dark beige and also Coco so anyway this is the 405 color love this color so nice black charcoal gray charcoal sepia Paints gray, grayish black. It's like a hmm, cold gray color. Then we have dark gray. Gray. light gray silver gray white you can use white as a mixing color such as black metallic uh, silver it's quite shiny Let's see it right gold no bronze sorry bronze and gold now to the best part applying water give me a sec so these are the colors 104 colors of Neo Color 2. Sorry, I will sneeze. Will I sneeze? Yeah, no. Ooh. Okay. When coloring with water brush or aqua brush, I always use my micro fleece towel. Um, well, it lasts longer time than paper, so you can wash it, reuse it, so it's great more eco-friendly if you ask me um, yeah so it lasts longer and i will use the aqua brush as i don't need to control my water so much as i would with um, a regular brush and every time I go over a color, I always start from lighter to dark. You can clean your brush with the towel, so yeah, that's what I will do. Canary yellow, look at those brights, oh my god. light cadmium red it's like a strawberry red beautiful scarlet 
Crimson Alizarin, Purple Violet. Ultramarine pink, well it's still fuchsia for me this color pink Salmon, apricot, apricot, flash, orange, -ish yellow, Sahara yellow. I love it. Um, Bordeaux red, carmine, periwinkle, um, Cobalt Violet Mauve Lilac a beautiful color I love it blue Prussian blue dark dark blue right mm, ultramarine night blue sapphire blue Um, let me fill my aqua brush. Blue, tall blue, indigo blue, sky blue. Blue jeans, light blue, light cobalt blue, Tur turquoise blue, turquoise green, cobalt blue, malachite green. Greenish blue, chromium oxide green, and we have jade 
green, veronese, green, bluish, green, can't wait to try all those, emerald, dark green dark English green honestly I couldn't tell the two apart uh, yellow green spring green bismuth hmm bright green brass light green lime chinese light olive moss green olive olive black olive brown green ochre Ochre, golden ochre, light ochre, rose sienna, sorry, um, cinnamon, chestnut. English red, saffron, russet, burnt sienna, Oop, brown, Toledo, Brown, one dike, brown, row umber, beige, cocoa, black, Oop. Mm -hmm. Charcoal, grey, sepia, paints grey, greyish blue, dark grey, grey, a light grey, silver grey, wow that's a pale grey, white, Gold, metallic, bro uh, silver, and bronze. Mm -hmm. So let's see the colors. <coughs> These are the 104 colors of the Neos. As you can see, they are super bright. Okay, so that's it and now so here you can see the additional colors again above the 84 colors you get with the box but in the packet you can make a screenshot if you want ok 
Okay. And now to the color combos. First, the skin colors I searched for. We have Sahara yellow. Apricot. Flash. Salmon. Salmon pink. Pink. Burnt Sienna. Cinnamon. I would put in light ochre as well, so here you go. And then um, periwinkle blue maybe for shadow. Indian red, ruby red for um, blush. Mm -hmm. Or lip color. Activate them. You can, of course, mix them. What is more, I would recommend mixing them, blending them. Cinnamon. And as always with skin, less is more, so I would recommend going in with light layers. Light ochre, um, periwinkle blue, which is 
like the Parma violet in Prismas, then Indian red, ruby red. Yeah, and um, Mm -hmm. mm, so, spring colors. Bismuth green. These these are the actual sets you can buy. You can buy um, separate jade green. But you can also, you know, accumulate them by um, buying some open stock um, pencils. Uh, sorry, um, crayon to your um, collection. So um, they didn't have light lemon yellow um, open stock, so I will use the Supra color color instead, which is exactly the same. So this is light lemon yellow then we have naples yellow which is this one i think they didn't have it as well mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't open stock, so Naples yellow. Apricot. Salmon pink. Purple. Manganese violet, violet, blue jeans. I love this one. Steel grey, I'm sorry, no, mm -hmm. to find it, sorry. <laughs> ah, here it is, still grey from the Supras, as I, they weren't open stock. And I also added sky blue, just for fun. <laughs> Where are you, sky blue? Hey! Yeah, here it is, sorry. I love this color. Oh, how bright and shiny. Jade. Oh, light lemon yellow. Naples yellow, apricot, salmon pink, purple, manganese violet,
violet blue jeans steel gray and sky blue as an additional spring color uh oh there's too much of water mm -hmm. these are the spring colors then the bright bright set white Canary yellow, reddish orange. Hmm, let's see. That's the one. So with, um, I will do it with Supras as I don't have one, but you will see the color. Ruby red, dark aquamarine, Is it, isn't it, I think it's, sorry, ultramarine, yeah, dark ultramarine, hmm, <laughs> okay, and again a super color one, light blue, turquoise blue, bluish green mm -hmm. spring green and light ochre What a beautiful sand color, right? The light ochre is Oba. White. Canary. Reddish orange. Ruby red. Dark wood, uh, dark wood from marine. Light blue spring opa. spring uh, green and light ochre so these are the brights the spring and the skin colors I found now I made an autumn uh, not me sorry there's the autumn set and I also searched for some Christmas colors so let's go to the let's do the autumn one this is the one I'm most I'm most excited about um, and now um, golden ochre green ochre rose sienna english red oh, i love this color so rich so beautiful Indian red, another one. <sighs> mm, chestnut. Ooh. 
one die crown. Olive black. Moss green. And grayish black. Love it. Wow, this is a beautiful brick color as well. Just saying, Indian red, okay, chestnut, one dye brown. We are nearly there, nearly finished with the palettes. You know, you can fast forward anytime. Grayish. Beautiful autumn colors and now to the Christmas colors. Golden yellow is the first one. Scarlet. Version. Lilac. Royal blue, emerald, you know, bright and shiny colors for your Christmas decorations or yeah, Christmas tree, dark green, dark English green. And one other thing, um, you can use your um, pencils above the Neo Color tools, which is awesome. With the Neo Color tools, you can speed up your process as well. Where is my black here? Black. And copper, bronze, bronze, yeah, bronze, not copper, sorry, gold, <coughs> there it is. Hmm, I honestly can't tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the dark English blue is more um, green, but not green, sorry, more blue than the other one. Black. Copper. Not bronze instead and gold. So these are the Christmas colors and the autumn colors. So these are the sets. <laughs> okay. I will let them dry. 
And now to the coloring. Let's try them. Okay, um, when you use Neo Color tools, there are several ways to attempt water coloring. Um, you can work with layers, adding small, small layers after each other. I really love that technique because you can control your layers, your colors more, given more um, different um, colors which can shine through each other which is great for example with leaves as leaves aren't always aren't one sole color they are um, you know they are oh, I can't remember the word uh, mm, there are several colors <laughs> when you look at the leaves a leaf has several colors green grays greens um, blues, red, if there is a shade, for example, purples as well. So, yeah, there is no limit to what you can do, what colors you can use with leaves, especially art autumn leaves. So, this is a glass surface I will use to mix my uh, neo color tools. I will put a white paper behind it so you will see what i'm mixing this will be next to my page Oop. okay great just getting ready and we will use the autumn set colors okay so as i said first method is uh, sorry yeah here it is sorry just too much things on my desk again i will use my microfleece um, towel it will be here next to me um, i have a little bucket with water for the water for my water brush Here's my water brush. This is a Borziani Bonazzi brush. Um, I will write everything in the description below. Although I haven't found them on Amazon, I bought them in a local uh, craft shop, artist um, supply shop. So yeah, but you know, you can use any brush you like, you want. It's totally up to you. So this is my Dervant uh, water aqua brush size two i usually use size one by the way so first things first we will go with um small go in with small layers with my regular water brush and we will slowly build up our layers this way transitions are easier to easier to control so yeah and mm -hmm. yeah and as <laughs> I will use a hair dryer today, sorry, as my two heat guns died and yeah, in a week. So I gave up on heat guns for, for some time. <laughs> I just don't want to go into it, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you already know what happened. <laughs> Let's try mm. green ochre, rose sienna and English red, okay, as the first combination. Green ochre, rose sienna, English red. 
English red, yeah, Rosiana and green ochre. Okay, and what you do is you put some of the crayon down here, not much, you don't need much. That's a really great. positive <coughs> advantage yeah advantage of the neo color so here we have the three colors and what I do is I activate the color sorry really and I like to uh, make a transition with my uh, paint here the paint is much much um, more concentrated than at the other end if you want to you know dissolve or make it lighter you can put some of the paint and go in and mix it with water so as you can see I can choose what concentration I want to use and as I said we you see it's really light and can still see the paint the color even though I gave water to it really well this is a green ochre and I always um, dry my layers before going in with the next one heat gun that the color will come and be more bright with every layer I use. Another great thing is that this color blend together um, beautifully the wax based crayons you know what I can mute yeah yeah great that's what I will do so we have a light base of green ochre down and now we can go in and even apply more of the color it's here more water and see there is a color right you can see and it blends with the golden ochre together if you use the light layers if you want to build a highlight you can choose to leave the you know 
um, the lightest parts as they are and for example just going in with water like here clean water brush and just trying to blend the colors together and it will happen Do, you, do we need auto focus? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep, awesome. So, so this is the so called layering game. <laughs> playing with your colors and with watercolors you don't need to be so you know um, you don't need to pay so much attention to the little details as you would with a colored pencil it's a much more loose relaxed media well, at least for me, <laughs> um, then with colored pencils, so I'm really enjoying my time with the watercolors and nail tools right now. They are awesome. See, I'm going over the part. Again, um, what's Rosiana? Green ochre. It dries, but that's not a problem. You can reactivate it with water anytime. So it won't go to waste. go in with a more darker concentrated green ochre here by applying just a little amount of water it will become more And I think, yeah, again, heat gun. I will use um, Chinese, Chinese yellow for highlights here, just a little. a little bit of yellow mm -hmm.
shred. Let's see what happens. Woo. So I'm mixing. Yes. See the blending? Mm -hmm. Now a raw sienna. I have to practice. Now I'm going in with a more concentrated amount of the, of English red, where I want my shadows to be. green ochre. Now I'm mixing the green ochre and uh, what's this? Um, <laughs> English red. And by going over with a clean brush I can blend them. colors Rosiana English red here. I'm just playing with the colors, the amount. Now green ochre. Chinese green, yellow, yes, green for highlight. Mm -hmm. Heat gun.
and row sienna. Chinese green here. Oh, sorry, Chinese green. As soon as my ring binders arrive, I will use the color cards, I promise. So for shadow, I will try to maybe one dark brown won't be dark enough. Hmm, let's try as a shadow color, okay? One dark brown. Hmm, let's see. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. It will do the job. So, one by brown. Blend it with, uh oh, with my English. That's too much, too much, too much, no problem. With water, <coughs> can blend it and move it around. English red, just a little. So as you can see, the one dyed brown changed its color and, you know, um, became similar to the English red, which is okay. You just need to keep on um, layering, stick to your plan. <laughs> layering game as I said before <laughs> um, okay
one dark brown Nearly done, nearly done. English red. So what I'm trying to do is to um, you know, make the English red and the brown um, shadow color both visible. Just harder than I thought. <laughs> but stay calm and use little water with your colors and it will blend eventually yeah Once you are done with the leaf, you can go in with, and once it's dry, you can leave it as it is, or you can go in with pencil, um, emphasizing the shadows and the highlights. Um, you could use the Supra colors for this purpose, because they have the same colors. So you can stick to your um, colors, which is great, if you ask me. Um, or you can even go in with a darker shade, like dark sepia here. If you want, you know, it's not compulsory. Just an effect you can use. I will go in with my, um, what was it? English red again. See, to make it to help the transitions. But only when your paper is dry. Um, what was it? Rose Sienna, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the Supras don't have row Sienna, so I can't use that, but that's not a problem. Mm, I will go in with my um, Bismuth Yellow. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> Maybe um, Posca.
Sorry. Come on. Work. Go back. Sorry. Now we are talking. That's it. Our leaf is ready. So that's one of the techniques you can use. Um, let's see what happens if I go in and push the crayon to the paper. So as you can see, I still have lots of pigments I can use. Um, hmm, I will try this one. So I will start with um, Chinese green. for highlights, then green ochre, red hmm. let's see what happens Ooh -hoo. and again go in with my regular aqua brush Make sure to clean off your brush. This is fun. Wow. The colors are just gorgeous, right? <laughs> happened so the colors are really similar um, I put down huge amount of pigment compared to the one I layered um, 
I like the watercolor effect. I can still go in and, you know, uh, mix the colors or go in and layer more if you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend going over this again with crayons as it will tear up your paper, I think. Or maybe if you are really, really careful. Yeah, it's possible, sorry. You can, if you want, let's try. And one dyed brown as well, just a little. So it's harder to control, as you can see, but it's also really bright. red we need more of it mm. oh, oh, oh. moving the colors Sienna. And we need more green ochre. Let's see. Opa! That's not what I want. Yeah. Hop, hop, hop. Okay. Okay, I will stop here. <laughs> I will stop here. Okay, great. Just again. By adding um, English red on top of the colors, I will get a reddish um, tone or like um, an effect, which is great. So, up to you when you are satisfied with the leaf color so, yeah. you can leave it the way it is Oba. 
you can leave it the way it is you can again go in with a white pencil or any type of uh, colored pencil you want um, depending on what effect you are looking for see white Yeah, Tosca. So, when you add the crayon to the paper, it will become more vibrant than when applied with a brush. So that's another technique you can use. Do we have anything else? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe we could try one with uh, with aqua brush, hmm? um, with other colors. Um, what happens if I use an aqua brush for layering and for straight onto the paper? Yeah. Let's try that. So I will turn this. And let's go for... Um, olive black, moss green and green ochre. Moss green, olive black, and green ochre. Okay, we have green ochre here. I'm gonna reuse my pigment. I have my water brush. use this one this is easier mm, sorry here wow Green ochre again. Mm. Moss green. Can you see it? I hope so. No, you can't. Sorry. Now, moss green. So the water um, is like coming out um, from itself. So I don't need to, you know, um, dunk my um, brush in water every time. But it's it's also uh, much more water came on my page already than with a regular water brush which isn't always good, especially if you're not working with watercolor paper. <laughs> but I also love how the colors blend more easily together than with a regular water brush. This is 
um, great. And I'm more fast, faster with this one, as it seems. So yeah. screen So it's, um, I'm having difficulties controlling the water, um, yeah, don't really need to push the brush as it's, the water is coming from itself. You really need a little, 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 little amount of just on the tip of your brush. Otherwise, it will um, over dominate your page. But. Wow. So, yeah, the water is my water, sorry. Um so I applied much, much more water with this brush than I would with a regular water brush, as I said before. Um, it's a bit fun. By the way, but um, I wouldn't recommend this on regular or um, create space paper. Mm -mm.
the great thing is you can um, see um, get rid and blend the dark together with your ochre I mean the olive black you don't have to of course what happens when I go in with uh, the crayon <gasps> oh, baba. yeah poop, poop, poop. Mm -hmm. okay this is mousse green and um, olive black water wash So it's really easy to do the mixing and the colors move where I want them to go and they also blend in together which is awesome. Sorry, <laughs> stupid mute, muting function, sorry. So, hmm, I, hmm, it was easier for me to control the colors with the water brush when adding the crayon straight to the paper. Is that just me?
again heat gun. Okay, let's see the four leaves. I think we all can agree that the colors are just magnificent. Magnificent. Um, wood up. Yeah. Magnificent autumn colors. As I said. So, these two were made with a regular water brush, just to, you know, summarize um, what happened today. And um, these two were made with the Durvant water brush number two. I find that the most easy technique on this paper to use was the third one. Um, the blending is much more natural than what I achieved. Maybe it's because I, I got to uh, practice with two leaves before it, but no, I think that the amount of water that came out with the aqua brush made a beautiful transition which I'm really proud of and it's much more water calorie than I achieved with my regular water brush although this was the most controllable um, you know um, leaf so to speak um, well compare the two I would say that the water brush aqua brush straight to the the crayon straight to the paper is the most leafy effect and more um, the colors are more saturated on these two as you can see and yeah so these are different techniques um, I will try I think I will stick to the layering technique um, when I'm not doing um, backgrounds with backgrounds this can be really really cool um, but also with leaves of course especially if you are using watercolor paper um, for um, regular uh, for example printing paper copy paper or um, cardstock no cardstock uh, um, create space sorry I need to drink I forgot to drink that's the problem for create space I wouldn't recommend this technique or be very very cautious you can see for for yourself and I will um, write it here okay water brush plus layering this is water brush no is it yeah plus straight onto the paper this is aqua brush plus layering and um, aqua brush plus straight onto the paper and I still have energy so how about trying the ink pens here okay and let's see how they behave hmm? mm -hmm. or we could do yeah layering first and then straight onto the paper yeah that's what i will do great <laughs> more 
sunscreen, um, olive black. I learned a lot, guys. I highly recommend you try the same. Mm, I'm so happy I did this. Great fun. Getting my ink pens ready. We let's go for um hmm, yeah, that's a cool color. Mm -hmm. felt green golden yellow where is it golden yellow mm. felt where is it where are you come on felt green and scarlet pink Again, golden yellow, um, scarlet pink, and felt green. And I will do, yeah, I will just, you know what, um, turn. Here we are. Uh -huh. First layering right it may not work as I said these are um, ink pencils pencils with ink in it so I have no idea how they will layer but we will see it's high time I try it right so water brush and layering first Scarlet pink. Hmm. They blend. That's great. Yellow, golden yellow.
work fine. I have to admit. Ha. green Interesting. Yeah, you can layer, but they won't blend as the neo tools would and it turns to a gray when you mix them let's see mm -hmm. I start to like it. I like how the green and the red turns to a grey green color. That's awesome. Brown. brown leaf comes alive <coughs> brownish orangey red leaf
Okay, let's try it again. Great. Can I go in? Yes. If you want. You can lay your on top of it. Golden one. So once the pigment is down and dry, it won't really move. You can um, mix and blend it a little together, but not as forgiving as the Neos, as you saw. Let's I use dark chocolate for shadows, just, just for fun. Yeah. What happens if I go in with a... Yeah, it activates. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, now um, let's go straight onto the paper, dark chocolate. Oh, I forgot this part. Hee, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oops. <laughs> Oops, that looks strange mm -hmm. Pink, scarlet pink, ha, that looks strange, that looks strange, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, if you are super fast, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't really move the pigment just a little. So yeah. Once it dry, it's 
it won't move. Yeah. Not too bad, but it won't blend. <coughs> so that's not what I would recommend using. <coughs> Water brush plus layering aqua brush plus um, what did I do? Ah, okay, straight onto the paper. Nine, sorry, water brush. <laughs> oh my god, I'm starting to get confused. Water brush plus straight onto the paper. Okay. Okay, last two. Mm, I will use um colors which are more close to each other obviously uh, mixing these colors well it's not bad but it's let's face it difficult <laughs> okay let's do um, Sicilian yellow burnt orange and red oxide next so even with pencils, it's really difficult to um, blend these colors together. You need lots of layers. So I'm not surprised that the ink pens wouldn't, um, you know, um, blend perfectly. Red oxide. Okay, we have it. Okay, um, hmm, layering with aqua brush. Concentrate. <laughs> Sicilian yellow. Burnt orange. And red oxide. I'm so excited. Let's see what happens.
Welcome. Trying to work fast and um, blend them together. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. still with me <laughs> again um, the yellow one and the other yellow okay more yellow. Now. Yeah, it blends, although the paper is starting to get really crumbly, it got too much water, even though I didn't press my water brush. Hmm, that's, that's bad. That's, uh oh, not okay. So you can't use as many layers of water with the water brush, no, sorry, the aqua brush as you would with um, the water brush yeah see it's crumbling uh oh So the paper can take any more layers with the ink tan, so I will leave it be. And now um, to the other 
go straight onto the paper with water brush. Red oxide. this color combination it's so beautiful right it's beautiful okay aqua brush and you have to be fast come on Yep, that's what I was thinking, that this will be the best possible solution with the ink pens. Woohoo, great! satisfied you can still go over it with the colors mm -hmm. and Sicilian yellow great maybe Posca okay this was the most easiest and most um, effective way of applying the ink tents for leaves, aqua brush plus uh, ink tents straight onto the paper and it gets a star because this was the best for me this is aqua brush plus layering ink tans okay great um here mm, these two this was really really great although you can't give as many layers as with the water brush so always be aware that with the aqua brush you won't be able to use as many layers and yeah as you would with the regular water brush Otherwise, I find the neos really, really, really versatile and they blend really easily. Ink tents blend as well if, you know, you have similar color next to each other. Otherwise, you have to be really careful because they won't blend together as nicely. Okay, um, last part, um, I will write down the color combos here as well, okay? Sicilian yellow plus burnt 
then we are ready for today we finished what we what i wanted i could show you i'm really happy so the neo tools were um let's see moss green olive black and um Mm hmm I know gold ochre right green ochre sorry it was green ochre green ochre and um, Chinese green Now that's a test page, <laughs> right? Chinese green plus um, <laughs> rose sienna. Golden poker. Golden poker and um, English red. Plus um, one dye brown. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I need a red pen. Ah, you should see my desk, it's a mess. Okay, so again, you do me wow, so oh, you can take a screenshot if you want. And um, let's, yeah, here it is. I will write down everything in the description below. That will take some time, but I will do it. So, Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please let me know what you think. If you would like to see similar videos, what type of videos, okay? Please, please don't hesitate. It helps me a lot. Um, so yeah, and stay tuned for, um, I will soon have a giveaway as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. Um, it will be something big <laughs> or bigger. And um, yeah, what else? What else? Yeah, just a little bit of a commercial. The streamathon, colorathon is approaching 20 and 22nd of. 20, 21st, 22nd of September, three days of Victorian colorings with talented and beautiful streamers. Um, you, will f you can find the schedule below the description. I also made a official announcement video about the colorathon. There you can find all the data, information you need. And we also have a Spooktober colorathon approaching and um, in october if you would like to stream please let me know i'm responsible for the schedule and i'm co-hosting it with nick and tina colors and crafts dreaming colors sky and myself so see you next time and yeah 
Bye. Take care.